hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with the third movie of the evangelion rebuild series and this is called you cannot redo so okay the previous movie it was quite great i really loved the fact that they finally like you know give a little bit of uh, like you know put a little bit of spotlight on ray because i feel the anime kind of underplayed her like she barely had any interactions and there was a little bit of a character development in the beginning and then it felt as if she was forgotten about so she really like needed that character development that the movie kind of gave her you know and i'm really glad to see that so and also in the previous ep uh, uh, in the previous movie we saw how asuka was kind of slowly changing you know she was kind of accepting them as friends but then disaster struck as like as in the anime so <coughs> toji went into the testing like you know testing the evangelion uh, like uh, like he was the pilot so he got injured but here asuka got injured and it's as bad as toji uh, like uh, you know as toji had kind of um, uh, like as toji got injured in the uh, okay what am i even saying okay in the anime just as the amount of injury that toji had mentally and physically the same thing also happened to asuka and i think asuka's injury is a bit more i'm not sure but we i don't know what's going to happen to her and the whole thing with the third impact almost going to happen and then it did not happen because kaoru came from the moon i'm guessing that was the moon wasn't it and stopping it like a lot of things happened in that episode and like the first part of the episode was kind of the same as the anime but it gradually started changing and it completely went to a different direction now i'm guessing this movie will be a completely new story i think so probably because this never happened in the anime so i'm looking forward to that and uh, well, like what is actually going to happen and from the logo and uh, not logo from the poster i think this is probably going to be uh, focused on kaoru so yeah kaoru also never got much like you know screen time in uh, uh, what do you call it in the anime so he'll probably get more here and also another we met a new girl in the previous movie her name was mari i think so i'm i don't know maybe we're going to see her as well like let's see what happens and also i i'm going to like give you guys a reminder like obviously like this like today that it's the end of evangelion like it will be the end of me reacting to evangelion because the fourth movie has not come out still like when it comes out i'll do the movie reaction so from next week onwards and uh, the anime that's going to replace this is after the last airbender like i did a poll on my channel a few um, months ago and like after and evangelion had the highest votes so i kind of said that after doing evangelion i'm going to do after so i'm going to do that so that's just something that i wanted you guys to know so if you guys are interested be sure to check out next week as well i'm going to start after so yeah let's not waste any more time let's get started with this movie this is movie number three uh you cannot redo so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay <clears throat> Okay, let's just. Pursuit mm -hmm. squad. What? Commence operation US. They're in space, so go. Oh.
Wow. What is happening here? What is this place? Orbit current. Oh, is this like a ro rocket or something? Yeah, I think it's like a. F what is. Who is that? Is that Asuka? Wait, was it Asuka like... Yeah, this is Asuka, isn't it? Jamming us. Who is singing that song? Oh, the, no, this might be Mari. Like... Or maybe not. Who is singing that song? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that is Asuka. Oh, Asuka has an eye patch. Okay, I think it was it's Mari that's singing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So they're working together. Whoa, they're having space battles. What? Okay, damn. Whoa! Whoa. Damn, the animation is amazing I have to say it wow okay okay Bad blue. A lot of new terms we're getting, like pattern type blue. <laughs> Networking four eyes. Ha! <laughs> <That> pun. <laughs> Whoa! Damn! What's happening to her eyes? Whoa! Damn! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at the colors! The animation! This is really amazing, I have to say. Oh, Shinji's here as well?
Damn. Damn. Wait. What was that? Okay, I'm a bit confused here. What's actually happening? What? BM03 Who's this? Yeah Oh god, it's gonna rain here Just a sec guys Okay, he's in some place red Some kind of hospital? What is this place? Specimen BM too. Wait, isn't that Misato's voice? Wait, what is happening? What is this place? <coughs> what the? Yeah, that is Misato. What? Isn't that Risco? Wait a minute, did they get into some kind of a battle world or something? What's happening here? Is this some kind of parallel world? Biometric verification Quarantine. Oh. Blood type blue. Hmm. Okay. If... Wow, this went in a completely different direction. Into reactor. Wow. 
uh, supply to the end to render yeah they're also kind of like nerf isn't it Whoa, a lot of new characters. Damn. Purchasing unit one. Who is who is you who is piloting unit one? Oh, m maybe like them. Okay, let's just wait for it. Spreading out the feet immediately. Zero. Wow. Damn. <laughs> it's, it's like a thunderstorm happening here. The ship single test. Oh, <laughs> bait. Damn, Fuck. Mari Asuka Oh wait a minute Whoa, whoa, whoa what is happening here Either this is a parallel world or like something major happened after that whole eruption. Like you know, after Kaoru came in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think this is a parallel world because Asuka is supposed to be mentally like you know no one is even giving attention to him he's like what is happening here Oh my god. Shinji himself is saying I'll ride the like you know I'll pilot the unit one. What a day. So who is going to pilot unit one? Like Yeah, why is he even here then? What? Then why is he even here?
Okay, something major is happening. We don't know what's. Like by process of elimination, the only one person I can think who is probably going to pilot unit one is Kaudu, if he is here. So let's see. Or maybe they won't use unit one. Like that's another option. Wow. Wow, completely over. Whoa, vaporized. Yeah, they're, they're acting as a decoy. That's like a you know, one of the most dangerous things. Post injunction. Whoa. Eighty percent. Thirty five seconds left. Whoa. Flight mode. Wow. Wow. Whoa. The animation is so amazing, I have to say. I'm guessing this came out recently. I don't know when it came out, but. Wow. Damn. Mean flip the ship. <laughs> Look at that. Wow.
Damn. The whole background music coupled with this, you know? The rock and roll type of a... Ha! <laughs> Damn. The core blocks are out. It's as if I'm watching a completely new anime, you know? Like, they'll bring out a lot of terms which I don't think we've ever heard before. Like the core blocks and... Like, I'm guessing they're fighting some kind of... Like, foreign entity which are probably angels in a way. I'm not sure, but... Like, you know? Like, it's like... This is like a completely different show. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's like what do you call that merry-go-round <laughs> okay wow fire Whoa! Damn, the AD field got completely destroyed. Whoa! Damn, that's good. Target eliminated. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kaji. Kaji is also here. Wonder ship of hope. Whoa. So this is not like nerve, like you know, it's not like a stationary headquarters. It's a moving. Headquarter, I'm guessing. Where we still have not seen Gendo here. Probably we're going to see him later, or I don't know if we will win. We are going to see her or him or not. And as we can see, like Shinji is kind of kept here with the collar. I don't know why. There must be some kind of significance later on. Speechman, they're calling him Speechman. Like the main engine of the ship. Oh, that's why. Okay. Deep level synchronized. Zero percent. Oh, damn. seconds earlier oh yeah what is that insurance is, is it going to oh what e it'll kill him or something yeah executive authority captain castro She's like a host. He's like a hostage. Like not a hostage, as per se. Yeah, like I'm also lieutenant. Name and rank. Who is? It? Ooh, the new character. Suzuhara. Oh! The sister! So, how old is Toji? Yeah, what is ha- 14! 
But Asuka doesn't seem changed at all. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Girls of the. Yeah. Yeah. You and what? What is that? I can't even s father's oh. Whoa, whoa, what is happening here? Like, so Mari is also like involved in all of this. Yeah. Oh, this is Iron Man's voice. God, what is happening? Damn! Whoa! What the? Unit zero. Oh! Whoa! So, oh, so Oh my god. Okay. Wow. So So that means on that side there is Gendo and God damn, it's like a thunderstorm is happening here. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa! Is it? 
Vessel of Adam. Potential as a trigger. Oh no, she cannot do it, I think. Or out of range. Yep. The hesitation, kind of. Well, I can't blame him, like nobody knows what's happening, like he wasn't even given a proper explanation. Okay, Ray is here. So I'm guessing this is Gendo's place, like probably we're going to see Gendo after this. Is this, is this an, yeah, this is a nerve, isn't it? Oh. Whoa, what has happened here? Yeah, it's all battered down. Oh, it's says Karu. I was thinking, who was that? So Karu is with the nerve now. And Mari is with the... Uh, what was the name? I forgot the name. Um, something with G. There you go. Gendo is here. Thirteen. Yeah, he doesn't know him. Yeah. <laughs> well, no one's going to give you any explanations here because that's how we roll. <laughs> like we as an audience, uh, like are getting the explanations. But I doubt Shinji is going to get any. <laughs> Damn, what is this? It's some kind of gelatin food? Like, I kind of remember one thing they said that we don't even have time to think of like all these unnecessary things. So the food has become so simplified, you know? Like, people don't eat, like, you know? fancy food it's just something for sustainers it kind of shows it like that you know something happened to ray i think like like misato said that he she is not there anymore so i'm guessing is this some kind of one of the clones like you know of ray or maybe something else happened. Yeah. 
them. So they're like fighting against each other, like the Nerf and the I forgot the name uh, Misato's organization. Like a lot of things happen in this 14 years, I'm guessing. And it's goes also with Misato. Um, order what? <laughs> she is not even responding. Yeah, what happened to the angels? She doesn't know. Yeah, wait for orders, whoa. If it's on order, then I'll read. There you go, I was thinking, she, she must be a clone. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, these people are here again. Silent. <sighs> Continues to be silent, oh. So there's still... Wow, Fusuki is really old. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I was. I'm. <laughs> I'm understanding the pattern here. Like, because they're fighting against the nerves, they don't want him getting into the Evangelion. And Gendo wants him to get into the Evangelion as always. So something like, you know, like as she, he said, that we need to complete the human mentality project. So I'm guessing Misato's team is trying not, like, you know, is trying to stop that. Something like that. That's why, like, you know, they said that don't get into the Evangelion. He would have been happier if he stayed with Misato's team. I at least think so. Like, who is even here? Like, Rei and Kaoru. And he doesn't even know Kaoru in this, like, you know? In this movie. Okay, there you go. Okay, he's going to interact. <laughs> yeah. Wow.
<laughs> Damn. Wow! <laughs> wow, Shinji is playing so well now! <laughs> okay. What's with that single tree? Wow, look at this, it's like so beautiful, the and like visuals. How can Shinji play so well? With like, you know? Hmm. Child bound by fate. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Shinji became a master piano player. <laughs> okay. Wow. Practice, yes. Hmm. That's a nice way to explain, I mean, like, you know, how to improve. Like, practice until you feel as if it's like, yeah, this is fun. Like, you know, like, this is how I want it. Until and unless you get to the point, just keep on practicing. Such a simple and, like, you know, good way to explain. that music it's music there isn't it yeah oh we can fix it Well, a few things changed. You prefer void? <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> the way they think. Look at this, like, you know, here's your food and here's your clothes. Like, like so simplistic, like, no excess. Suzuhara Toji? Wait. Wait, what happened to him? Like, Yeah, he doesn't even know where they are. Whoa. I doubt Gendo will even explain and like Ray won't do that like I think the only person who could give him some explanation is Kao so yeah like he's the only one here so wow damn This is freaking scary, you know, like imagine like climbing down stairs like this where if you kind of slip, you're gonna fall to your death and with this amount of smoke, like what? And the stairs are even not even properly, you know, like there's like holes in the stairs in the middle of it. Like one misstep and you're gone forever. Whoa. See the truth. Wait, what is this? Wait a minute, are they on moon? Or somewhere else? This is the earth, isn't it? Or or maybe not. Wait, 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 what happened here? Mass extensions. Lily. It's just a word. Create a new life, huh? Sacrificed older life. All the generation that has been. Oh, God. Okay. Well, he's the one behind this, so. It's the trigger the third impact. Near third impact. Okay. Yeah, like we kind of Yeah, but but you know like it kind of resulted in that in a way. So but no one's going to listen to that reason. Yeah, like, you know. 
There is no unforgivable sin. Okay, so what's the hope here? You cannot redo. Wow. I can understand the meaning of the title now. <laughs> okay. Serious child has contacted us. Hmm. Rewrite. Mm. <laughs> well, that's luck, you know. <laughs> Bad luck, that's just it. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, food so is here. Maybe he can, like, you know, give some more insight. Okay, maybe not. Okay, there you go. Chogi. <laughs> wow, <laughs> like, a cow taught him piano and uh, Fusuke is going to play Shogi with him? Damn, Shinji is learning a lot of new things. <laughs> Exactly, Shinji, you don't have that. Like, you know, calm down just for a second. Yeah, he never talked with him in the anime, so it's like the first time. Mm. Oh, damn. Yeah. I enemy you, okay. She's now the control system of Eva Unit. Okay, okay, there you go. Well, he casually revealed all of these things in just like five seconds. I'd have to enter into course. Oh, there you go. I kind of thought. Yeah. Wow. So everything that happened in the anime is kind of being explained here. It's left. Oh. There you go. One of you is closed. Preserved within unit one, just a second. Wow, he revealed everything. Wow. 
yeah the human instrumentality project a little bit <laughs> you, you like, like he's he revealed the whole plot of the anime and he says i just wanted to you know reveal a little bit of the truth damn <laughs> <laughs> sure you are. Whoa! Damn! Ordered, yeah. No, 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 she's a clone. I think, I think she's a clone. Damn, he is. Yeah, obviously, like hearing so many things at the same time. Uh, like it's gonna mess with you. Oh my god. <sighs> like, you know, like as much as everyone kind of. Like, you know, gets angry at Shinji and hates him. I really feel bad for this kid. Like, you know, like, like imagine going through so many emotions. Like, it's really messed up, I have to say. Like, we can kind of see the duality of everything. Like, like pilot that ever don't get into the ever don't do anything do anything do something like <laughs> like so many expectations on him and they're completely like reversed in all aspects like gendo says him to go into the evangelion misato says don't get in it and like you know messed up situations the whole truth and there's no one to talk to yeah except kaoru Final executor. Time has come. Yeah. <laughs> What's what you are? Yeah. So trust yourself. Or him, yeah, as well. Oh, what? Wait, how did... Spirit. 
We should take this piece for ourselves. Okay. All right. Well, you also have to do it. Yeah. Like he said there's two. Sp okay. Oh, okay, okay. That's another reason. Atonement and composure. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What? Oh. Mark nine. Will it? Who is who is batting that? Oh, I am. Fail to become infinite. <laughs> like this anime, like you know, kind of throws around terms without even like we don't even know what they. Intruding. Damn. Lit. Okay. Okay, that also helped, you know, like the piano playing also kind of is going to help with the synchronization. Okay. Whoa! Hmm. Bottom level of central dog. Whoa. Damn, look at this. Yeah, oh, it used to be her. Yeah, but you know, it kind of Mark three, uh, Mark six. Have we used by Lillian and Mordor? Oh.
Yeah. Longinus and Cassius. Two social liquid. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's a re yeah a replica of Lilin. Hmm. Hmm. Something's wrong. What? The same shape. Wow! What happened? Yeah, it's it's Asuka. Okay, well. No, it's technically he and another person. Damn. Oh, Ray's here. So that's... <laughs> so that's with the extra security. Wow! Yo! Okay. So something must be happening behind all of this. Like, uh, as far as I can understand, maybe it's not that easy. Yeah, but they became the same. What? <sighs> hmm. Damn. Something must be wrong here. Like, the spear morphing into the same thing must have posed a problem. Oh, wait, low battery, yeah. Well, yeah, he's going to take the chance. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, yeah, I think something must be, yeah, Gendo is like kind of like not doing anything to stop this. So it must be something might be wrong. Yeah. Like they're tricking him, them.
Wait. Okay, Shinji is acting weird now. Yeah, someone please stop him. Like, you know, even Karu is telling him to stop, he's not listening. It doesn't have an idea. Whoa. Whoa! What the? Yeah! Well, he's too far gone. Well, you messed up. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Like, that was part of his plan. Trust the angel is still alive. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> Shinji is gone completely. The first angel would. The beginning and the end are the same. Wait. For eternity. Shift of civilization. Hmm. I'll execute your long term. Ha, ah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Well, Shinji, I guess. <laughs> I think Shinji messed up big this time. Like, I think in the anime, he never messed up this big.
Hmm. God damn. This is what you did, Shinji. <laughs> like... <laughs> I... Um... <laughs> this is a face palm moment. <laughs> I have to say <laughs> for the impact. Wow, Shinji, you did it. Starting ritual. Wow. Well, oh, damn. Oh, thank God they're here. Yeah. But will that work? Like, The vessel of Adam, yeah. Like, she has to like, her order is like stop, like it's like security control. So yeah, she's stop, definitely going to protect them from any harm. Whoa. Wound is true master. Oh. Whoa! Huh. Hey, wow, that's more change. Triple seven. Oh, this thing. Like, we kind of saw Mari did, did this before. Wow. Oh, bit it off. Whoa. Ah. Okay. Damn. Wow.
Yeah. Oh, the whole thing is the core. Okay. Oh. Oh, self destruct. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Another face bomb moment. Um, it happened because I became the third thing. Well, actually, it is Shinji's fault, kind of, so... <laughs> oh, no. Um, Shinji, please think for yourself, Lam... <laughs> Wishes and curses, oh... Hmm... Okay, he can so. Oh no, he's uh, he probably is going to again sacrifice himself. Yeah. Okay. He like you know save him like changing the anime in this movie as well like the outcome. It's always the same, like Carl always like you know saves him from a situation like this. Oh no. Oh no. Haven't still closed. Wow, the music. Yeah, bring him out of that somehow. Pops. Yeah. Grow up, Shinji. <laughs> I don't know what else to say here. Like, you know, you're an adult now, even though for you've been sleeping 14 years. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Look at this mess, yeah. For now. Kaudu again.
So they they're going to bring Shinji with them, aren't they? Yeah, I, th I think so. That's what happened. So <laughs> Shinji got captured by the end of it. Not captured as per se, because like you know, he kind of rescued him. So. What is happening here? It's so dark. Ha! Huh. Yeah, bring him out. Mm. Yeah, like <laughs> Oh, race. L barrier. Move it, Shinji. Hmm. Oh, God, what a mess. <sighs> To be continued. Okay, this ended in a really weird position. <laughs> like, you know, it kind of ended like an anime episode. <laughs> like, like, today's episode is the end. To be continued next week. But this won't be next week. This will be after six months. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Well, I, in my opinion... <laughs> This movie had the dumbest version of Shinji. Like, all this time, like, I never thought that Shinji was, like, you know, stupid or dumb. But he was just a troubled teen. Like, all these episodes, like, uh, movie 1, movie 2, the anime. Like, I was, like, I, at least I thought that, like, Shinji is, like, an unfortunate character. It's just that, you know, he acts like a kid because he is a kid. But unfortunately, I think this movie kind of proved me wrong in a way. Especially the later half. The first half was okay. The later half kind of shows us how Shinji really like lost his marbles completely. And I'm going to talk about that later on. There is a little bit of a reason behind that. Still, it does not excuse the amount of like, you know, the foolery that he did in this episode, even after Kaoru told him that do not pull out the lances, like, you know, the spear or whatever, like, like, he was so drunk on the fact, on the thought that, yeah, if I pull this spear out, these two spears out, everything will become okay. He was so drunk on that prospect. That he completely forgot that the person who told him that is telling him to don't do that now. Like that was his major problem here. Like he lost all reason at that moment. So in a way that is kind of foolish in my opinion. Because like you have to think you know that the person who told you to do it in the first place is telling you not to do it now. So like, like why even? 
like at least listen to the people and another thing that Asuka said really kind of shows us like that she's completely correct that you always think about yourself like you know like try to understand people like Shinji's problem is he says that no one understands him but he himself does not make any like you know effort to understand others because of his fear of rejection like it's kind of like a whole like paradox is going through like he wants people to like him but he cannot like other people because he thinks that other people does not like him like what a messed up situation just think about it like <laughs> what? like that's basically Shinji like he wants other people to like him he wants attention he wants affection so what do you sh what should you do in that position you should like you know give that same amount of affection same amount of attention to other people yourself like you do something the other pe person would return it to it that's how it works but he does not do that because he thinks that everyone hates him like that is Shinji like, this thing really shows like how like astute like the observation of Asuka is at least in this thing like you know the thing that she says really nails the point that you always think, think about yourself like you know like a little kid and this movie kind of proves it in a way like all the other like the animes and everything Shinji was like this definitely but I think this movie kind of heightened it like you know especially in the end like I was baffled at his decision to take out the spear even after Kao told him not to okay that's the end <laughs> like you know like that's why like like it is a whole face palm moment like when like you know <laughs> like I didn't feel angry at Shinji I like you know I felt it funny the way he was reacting was so like weird and like paradoxical that like you know what he was like like what he did was he first like told like Kaoru that no one like you know I want to want everything to go back to uh, how it was Kaoru said that okay we can do that like we have to do something here we be, go get into the Evangelion take out the two spears and everything will be fine uh, Shinji says okay let's do it they get into the situation and Kaoru thinks that okay something must be a problem here we, maybe we're getting tricked by Gendo he understands that yeah they are getting tricked somehow so he tells Shinji like do not do it Shinji says that oh like no I'm going to do it because you know like like if I take this thing out everything will be fine so why shouldn't I do it he completely forgot the fact that the thing that he was doing is on Kaoru's suggestion and that same Kaoru is telling him not to do it so like like that was like you know and then when everything happened like everything like uh, went com completely haywire like the whole thing was going down the fourth impact was going to happen Shinji stops and Shinji says that is this my fault I think that was <laughs> I did not feel angry at that moment I felt it extremely comical the way you know human <laughs> like I know this is not funny like this is nothing funny is happening here but you know like the way Shinji acted here is something that I felt extremely unusual and I don't know like the fact that he completely lost himself in that moment like like I, in a way he completely became like Ayanami you know as Ayanami says that like I will do everything that's all and like you know that's my orders I'll like complete my order I'll not think for myself she's kind of like this so similarly like the Shinji became the slave to the desire of pulling that spear out so that everything will be fine like he became something like that and then after everything happened he said that oh my god did I do this like you know the the realization came a bit late after that and Kaoru said that no you did not do it it was probably me because like you know like because I'm here something like this happened I'm sorry Kaoru but I think it is kind of Shinji's fault in a way because even though as Kaoru said that he was the main factor here that was actually like which was why everything is happening here the thing happened because Shinji pulled the spears out so in a way 
he is kind of at fault here and i really hope in the next movie he kind of gets out of this whole thing of what can i say this self pity like cycle that is going on and on and on like this whole like thing i think like kaaru not kaaru um, aska really changed you know like she really changed and i'm really glad about that i really hope shinji also changes in the same way and you know like in the anime he kind of changed in a way and i was really glad about that i really hope the finale that is the next movie kind of shows us how shinji actually changes himself and becomes like you know the person like you know not like a person that like he is now like wallowing in self pity nobody likes me uh, i want affection but i don't want to give anyone affection i won't listen to anyone but i want them to listen to me like this kind of a uh, weird cycle that he's going through my dad doesn't love me but i want my dad's attention like these type of things like he should like you know what what he should do like i i know that he probably won't be able to do it he should cut all ties with gendo like i like this is one thing that i really think like i think gendo even though gendo is doing everything to like you know for his own like uh, goals and everything for the human mentality project he wants to go back to ue i think this is one of the most selfish reason i've ever heard like like okay like i know like she, he loves his wife so much that he wants to go back to like i think that that was the main thing isn't it like he wants the human his mentality project to succeed because he wants like you know to go to that place where you is isn't that what he like i might be wrong here like correct me down in the comments if i'm wrong like at least i think that is his main goal so for that reason he is using his son i think that is the most selfish thing that i've ever seen a father to do i don't know like i'm sure he loves shinji but the things that he is doing to like you know reach his goal that is not acceptable in my opinion this whole relationship of shinji and gendo is so toxic as like in a in a parent like you know in a like how a parent should treat his son and everything like in that standpoint i think it's so very toxic and i think like if he could have like you know if shinji could have said that no this ends here like i won't listen to you like you know like like i don't care if you give me attention or not i don't care if you accept me or not i'm ending this relationship like i can't go on like this if he said something like this and like you know cut off all ties with gendo i think he could have like you know changed in a lot better way this whole gendo like you know my dad doesn't love me like uh, you know like i want my dad's attention i don't want my dad's recognition whereas his dad probably loves him but like because of his own like reasons he doesn't care and because of that like this weird type of a thing is something that i think shinji should have nipped in the bud but obviously like this is shinji he could not do that <laughs> he is not capable of that like i really i don't know like is this how like you know a parent should act like using his son like he is cut technically using him isn't it just so that he can go back to his wife like like he for a dead not a dead but for a person who won't come back he's sacrificing his own son in a way i think that's very bad in my opinion like everybody like you know blames shinji like i i see like people like uh, like in the like, comment section everything everything everyone saying like oh shinji bad shinji very bad shinji is a kid shinji acts like a uh, like you know brat and everything like i see like a lot of comments like this i understand what they're saying but in my opinion gendo is even a like you know is even worse than shinji in a way at least it's my opinion i don't really like gendo because of that like i like shinji like does stuff like this everything like because like everyone says that yeah he's a brat but yeah actually he is a brat like just like think about it you know like how much old is he even and now obviously like 14 years went like past so he's kind of an adult but still his like mental thing is was kind of freezed didn't it so he's still like a little kid so like 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 you know if you say that yeah he's a brat he's acting like a brat he's a kid actually he is a brat so i think him acting like a brat and a little kid is probably a little bit like you know like is probably something that he should be doing it's normal 
because like i think we have been kind of pampered with these type of like you know model shown in anime characters like for example who like you know all of these like little kids those shown in anime characters who have this kind of goals who has like you know like who knows how he sh- like <laughs> for example all the like uh, okay just let's just take naruto and on all the other characters you know like all the other shonen characters like we have been pampered by this character so much that nowadays when we see an anime character acting that their age we think that he is a brat but actually no the abnormality is not him the abnormality is our thought process which has kind of like you know adapted itself to thinking that 14 or 15 years kid would know the like you know whole world know how to live their life like that's not how it actually happens kids 14 12 13 14 years old kids are actually supposed to act like this that's the main thing okay like 12 13 14 year old kids who have not got any parental affection who has not got any proper like you know guidance from their parents is supposed to act like this that's the appropriate word i think in this like you know context so yeah that's basically it shinji a kid never got any like you know uh, like guidance from their parents like he became like this that's basically it so <laughs> like i really do not like gen though because of that you know like shinji i'm fine with him i really don't get, find any problem with him because at least i think that whatever he is doing is a little bit bratty but he is a brat so what else do you even expect from him but Gendo, like he's a grown grown up man. Like I don't know. Like anyway, I kind of went on a rant here. But you know, like the whole Gendo situation really kind of ticks me off in some sometimes. You know, the way like whenever I think about the whole situation, what is happening and everything, like it really kind of like rubs me the wrong way. Like seeing a parent kind of act like that. Like, I'm not saying that he does not love him. Definitely Gendo, like, like, you know, loves Shinji because he's his son. Like, we kind of saw him talk with him before. And, like, from the interactions, we can kind of understand that he still cares for him. But, like, you know, still, whatever he's doing by using his son in this way, that's not acceptable, in my opinion. Like, for his own goals. In a way, it is his own goal, isn't it? He's just using Shinji as a kind of as a pawn it sounds bad but you know like it is what it is so yeah anyways I, I kind of went on a completely different direction i never like i still did not don't have not discussed anything about this movie all right this movie <laughs> this movie uh, we see what happens after the thing that happened in the previous you know uh, movie and i thought this was probably some kind of parallel world or something it did not like it's not something like that 14 years has passed Misato completely changed and I still think like Misato like loves Shinji as she loved him uh, before and that's why like she said that do not do anything Shinji like I'm sure like she, Misato wanted Shinji to live his life peacefully but no Shinji <laughs> it's Shinji you're talking about he won't like you know he would he will always do something <laughs> opposite than he is told so <laughs> he did the same thing he wanted to go and see Ayanami he went to go and see Ayanami and then he gets disappointed, talks with Kaoru and everything and like wallows in self-pity again and then he messes up in a way. <laughs> so, in a way this movie is like you know kind of full of Shinji's blunders <laughs> and I don't like I, I'm not angry with that because <laughs> like obviously he was confused in a way like suddenly like imagine getting like you know kind of uh, like waking up after 14 years and seeing something like this like you know misato changed asuka changed so many things happened no one giving him any kind of proper explanation um yeah i think that's a pretty mm, what can i say like <laughs> it will really kind of mm, mess with you in a way so that's why like shinji kind of acted rash like that i don't blame him for that but i kind of like think that the thing that he did later on the whole like he did not listen to Kaoru, that is kind of his fault in a way i think but you know what can i say like this is shinji so yeah and another thing is like <laughs> fuyusuke <laughs> my god this guy <laughs> he completely <laughs> diverged <laughs> each and every mystery surrounding the evangelion series 
in a matter of one minute in this movie everything he diverged like the whole thing with Yui like who she is who Ayanami Rei is what his dad is actually planning to do everything and he kind of let us say that okay like you know I probably said a little bit too much no my dude <laughs> you diverged everything you did not say little bit you said everything so <laughs> I think this kind of like you know uh, clears up all the confusions like people who had these kind of confusions from the uh, anime series I'm sure everything got cleared up in this ep like movie uh, completely so yeah and um, yeah and then like we see um, okay like oh i was talking about misato okay so i i think that misato really wanted shinji to like you know uh, live peacefully so like the first thing that she said like imagine the contrast here the first thing that misato said is you don't have to get into the evangelion now why did she say that obviously because he does not want like you know things getting messed up again but I think, uh, like, you know, there is a deeper reason behind it. Imagine how, like, you know, uh, like, uh, remember how, like, when Shinji came in, Gendo says that, Shinji, get in the Evangel Evangelion. Shinji says that, no, I won't. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to, you know, like, risk my life in doing all of these things. I might die. Like, why, Dad? Why are you, like, putting me in this dangerous situation? I think Misato really wanted Shinji to get his peace. So that's why she said that Shinji, you do not have to get into the Evangelion, which is the complete opposite of what Gendo said to him. And in a way, I think, like, you know, Misato is a lot better of a parental figure than Gendo. Like, I kind of said this before, like, I went in a whole rant on Gendo. So, like, I really hope, like, not hope, but I really hoped that, like, you know, like, like Misato would have done an, like a lot better job like make like you know kind of raising Shinji than Gendo would have at least and like if like you know like Shinji like she like she really is like a parental figure for Shinji and I at least think that like her intentions in this like uh, movie like obviously the, the real intention was like you know the whole thing like the evangelion him not getting into the evangelion so that the fourth impact should not happen but also there was another like uh, what do you call it in like another reason behind it that was like she does not want shinji to suffer anymore so that's why like she said that shinji you don't have to get into the evangelion but shinji took it the wrong way so what else can i say you know so yeah and like we also saw like you know her hesitate like you know kind of uh, pressing the button of that collar thingy and like when she pressed it they have went out of range so like that also shows us how she really cares about shinji like she could not press that like if she like if she was like this ruthless type of person didn't care about shinji she could have probably killed him at that moment like as soon as Shinji went out he she could have like she would have pressed that button and that would be the end of it but she was unable to do it like that really shows like like Misato's you know standpoint like the way she thinks sees things and yeah and one thing I was really surprised as to Ritsuko kind of like you know joining um Misato I was not expecting that I was thinking he, she would have probably stuck with Gendo, but she did not. She came with with uh, Misato. So you know, like that's another surprise I got. And what else? And then like all the things like you know we kind of see Asuka all well and good. I'm really happy for that because the previous movie really kind of made me concerned as to what will happen to Asuka. You know, I'm really glad to see her all fine. You know, like. Uh, like, and her personality also changed like she still like kind of like <laughs> like you know snaps at Shinji uh, but like you know I think she became a lot matured like it, we can kind of see it in her uh, actions and everything like you know the way like everything she told like you know like the, even the time when she was scolding Shinji there was a bit of maturity in it it was not that she was just like pointlessly screaming at him that was not it like everything that he, she did in this uh, like movie like it shows us how she grew up and she really like her mentally like she mentally matured as well 
So, you know, like, like in the end, we also see, like, she, Asuka was walking away. If this was the, like, you know, the previous Asuka, she would have walked away. She wouldn't have come back. But she stopped, went back and took Shinji with him. Like, that, like, again, shows us, like, how she matured. I really hope Shinji also kind of <laughs> matures like this. I really hope. Like, you know. But, like, what can you do? Like, Shinji has been kind of, like, in a, in a in type of, like, a coma, I'm guessing. So, his mental age, didn't, uh, even his, like, you know, physical age did not mature. Whereas, like, even though she, Asuka's physical age did not mature, like, you know, did not uh, grow up, she, she mentally matured. So, yeah. And Mari is, like, uh, working with them. That's also another thing we saw. Uh, she is in the, I'm guessing, the intelligence department or something. Like, what was that? The... Yeah, something like that. Like she was like the support character. And yeah. And then like we get to the next portion of Kaoru where how we meet Kaoru again and how they like, you know, interact and all. And then the whole thing, like I kind of like discussed this before, the whole thing with um, the Spears, uh, Longinus and Cassius, I think. Uh, and then Kaoru kind of uh, like like the whole thing like I, I kind of found it fishy you know the when everything was happening like I was thinking like if this is something Kaoru and Shinji is going to do and everything is going to revert back to normal why isn't Gendo stopping them and then I realized that oh so Gendo this was your plan like this was like a whole trap that he laid for them you know like when Kaoru went there and saw that the like spears were one and the same he thought that maybe something's wrong here, you know, and like, like, uh, like I also thought that like, why is not Gendo stopping them? So that was like his part of plan. He like kind of played a reverse psychology trick on them, <laughs> you know, like, like he knew that they were going to do something like this. So he kind of like in a way tricked them to do this. And he also knew Shinji very well. So he knew that even if Karu like, tries to stop him, Shinji won't stop. He is going to kind of get drunk on the prospect of everything will be fine you know and pull the spears out and so yeah that's what happened and again Kaoru had to sacrifice himself in the end in a way so it's sad you know like the way in the anime he also went out saving Shinji in this movie as well he went out saving, saving Shinji so you know <sighs> what else can I say Mm, what else and uh, yeah and uh, Misato like, kind of changed in a way I'm not sure what happened to Kaji you know I don't think we got any information here and Misato became a completely like you know like stoic type of an individual like killing all her emotions and stuff I think so I don't know like something bad must have happened something regarding Kaji I think and also like Shinji kind of going into a coma that must have also affected her in a way so I think that's also another reason you know why like Misato did not want anything to happen to Shinji after getting him back after so long so she said that like Shinji you don't have to do anything like she I, I, I'm sure that she just wanted Shinji safe with them but oh well what can you say <laughs> and uh, and in the end we see like them kind of walking the desert kind of place and i'm guessing like gendo like as he said that this is like you know this is something that we're going to do like resume later on like, you know let's just end it here for the time being <laughs> so i'm guessing like they're going to try to like, do this thing again later on and probably like Shinji, uh, Ayanami and uh, Asuka, they're going back to, uh, I forgot the name of the organization um, of Misato, going back to them again, so yeah. And uh, yeah, that was it. And we also met a few new characters, a lot of new characters who barely got any kind of like, screen time, like uh, Soji's sister and then there was these two or three new characters we kind of met the one there's this one I think pink haired girl and there's this one another girl we saw 
and two or three new guys we saw there was this one i think bald guy can't remember like the new crewmates i'm guessing uh no background information on them so yeah i don't know if we'll get any information on them in the next movie or not but who knows and uh, <clears throat> oh and also another thing what happened to to toji and uh kensuke we still don't know about anything about that like we saw toji's dress like you know uh, the dress that he used to wear we kind of saw it uh, like shinji kind of got it so i'm guessing they're fine somewhere you know like it did not seem as if something bad happened to them so because like she, like you know uh, toji's sister kind of seemed fine so i'm sure like if something bad happened to toji she would have said something about it to shinji Like, you know but she said nothing so i'm guessing he, like toji is probably fine and uh, yeah and i and me i am not sure what to say like you know like this is like another clone so i'm guessing this like this will also take a little bit of time for her to adjust to everyone you know to asuka shinji and getting back that like you know the the previous Ayanami like in the in the previous movie we saw Ayanami kind of express emotion like she told Asuka thank you and you know and that's why like Asuka I think uh, no Asuka not Asuka Mari Mari said that I preferred the previous you like you know like she also like yeah in the previous movie she also saved Mari in a way like you know like that brief amount of interaction they had with the bomb thing so like that's why like Mari said that I preferred the previous you the original you So I'm sure like she, like this Ayanami will also kind of develop emotions bit by bit. So who knows? And I I really hope that that's the case. So yeah, that was it. That was this movie. So <laughs> I'm sure like as I said like a lot of people will be kind of pissed off at Shinji at, like you know because of the things that he did in this movie in a way. and like, i have to say like i said this before that but i did not i don't feel angry at shinji i kind of like you know like this is a really weird moment i thought that like oh my god like how can even someone like get drunk on something so much they disregard the thing that the person who told them to do that in the first place is saying it now so yeah like it, it was shinji's fault kind of but i don't feel any kind of you know like i don't feel angry at at him like i kind of got used to it <laughs> like shinji doing like you know stupid things is kind of something that i got used to <laughs> after so long <laughs> and yeah and this is something normal for him so i think that oh like oh no like you know like something shinji shinji is doing something bad i think that oh okay look like, it's it's shinji like what like you know like it's, it's kind of normal for him to do something like that So I really hope that he kind of gets matured in the next movie. And the next movie is his final one. So I'm guess I I hope that I I'm sure like he will get some kind of character development because the um, like anime kind of showed not like he did not get a full character development, but he was in the process of changing. And he would probably change if given a little bit of time. So I'm guessing this movie will also do something like that or something, you know. So let's just wait for it. and um yeah and another thing like um okay what else <clears throat> yeah that's it that was it so that that was this movie this was movie number <coughs> 3 of the rebuild series so this was uh, evangelion 3.0 you cannot redo so yeah that's the re like reason of that title you cannot redo you know so Yeah like I I feel bad for Shinji in a way because so many things he has to like you know kind of shoulder and like you know like at first like when he woke up he like you know he he got the reminder that everything that happened was probably his fault and he was in denial he goes to like you know Gendo's base base and he decides to like you know accept that yeah probably it was my fault so let me do something that will like you know rebuild everything He tries to do it, messes up, and everything gets messed up again. And he realizes that, oh my god, like this also is probably my fault. So he 
messes up two times. Like the first time was probably not his fault even. Like it's it was not his fault the first time. It's just something that he kind of thought that yeah, this is probably my fault. You know? And like and the second time like he decided to mend or rebuild that fault. Like you know, kind of make amends to it. But like you know, fails in that process and like he realizes that oh like I failed again. So whatever is going to happen after this is also my fault. So yeah, it's like a lot of mental pressure, you know. So <laughs> like in a way that that's kind of bad in a way. Like uh, like I feel really feel bad for him because of that. Like especially in the scene where we see Shinji kind of like you know staggering and all like all of these like things in her my head, his head like. You know, uh, Misato saying that don't get into the Evangelion. Gendo saying that get into the Evangelion. Like this amount of like duality and everything. Like even though like Misato, I'm sure like Misato said that don't get into the Evangelion in a good way. Like you know, like you don't have to like you know do what you hate. Like Shinji hated getting into the getting into the Evangelion. So I'm sure like Misato said something like that so that he does not have to do it. But Shinji took it the wrong way and yeah, like you know it stressed his mind again. And in a way, it's kind of like bad and like sad in a way. I feel really bad for Shinji because of that. So yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, guys, that was it. That was this uh, movie. So this was movie number three. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share. I'll definitely be checking them out and your impressions of this movie as well. Like one thing that really like you know the, like my impressions at least is, is uh, especially after seeing this movie like i kind of realized how gendo is kind of really like you know like messed up in a way at least his the way he is uh, like kind of using shinji because of his own goals like so that is like i don't feel bad like you know i don't feel uh, angry at shinji i really feel angry at gendo like i don't really like the way he does stuff so even though his intentions are like you know like he likes he loves Shinji as his child but still like, that does not give you any kind of um, you know, authority to rule your children's life you know like to kind of mess with it like, that's just my impression but anyways so yeah okay and another thing I want you guys to know like next week uh, the show that will be i kind of said this before the, i started um the show that will be replacing evangelion is avatar the last airbender so i'm going to start doing two episodes per week just like i did with evangelion uh, every week on this day same time so if you guys are interested be sure to check it out as well and uh, like when the last movie will come out like you know for the fourth movie will come out digital versions i'll react to that movie like uh, you guys can also like you know kind of remind not remind me i'll keep an eye out whenever the movie comes out but like you know if you want to you can just like you know whenever the movie comes out digitally and it's out you can kind of like you know uh, write in the comment section whichever like uh, anime comments like you know anime comment section whichever thing you can just like you know write in the comment section and like i'll kind of like get notified about that and i'll like react to it after that uh, I myself will keep an eye out on, on it. So, yeah. Anyways, you can do that. So, yeah, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next week with a completely new um, anime reaction that is Avatar The Last Airbender. So, see you guys then. If you guys are interested in it, definitely check that out as well. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.